friends welcome to physics class so today class fundamental forces in nature how can measure force force is measured by the product of mass and acceleration the formula f equal to mv a so a is the acceleration of the body when the acceleration increase force is also increase the mass of the body remains constant there are four important fundamental forces in nature name the fundamental forces in nature the first one is the gravitational force electromagnetic force strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force this is a two mark question name the fundamental forces in nature the first one is the gravitational force gravitational 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 force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force. So now here, gravitational force, the force of attraction between any two bodies due to their masses. So mathematical formula F equal to G capital G M1 M2 by D square. Newton's law of gravitation, the force of attraction between any two body mass directly proportional to the product of their mass inversely proportional to square of distance between two body masses so for the f equal to g m1 m2 by d square g is a constant gravitational constant that is universal constant so gravitational force is the force of attraction between any two bodies due to their masses What are the important properties of gravitational force? Important properties of gravitational force. The first property: gravitational force is only for attractive force. Only for attractive force. Gravitational force is the weakest force, fundamental forces in nature. Name the weakest force, fundamental forces in nature. Gravitational force. This is the second property. Gravitation force is the weakest force, fundamental force in nature. And gravitation force which obey inverse square law, F inversely proportional to D square. F inversely proportional to D inverse square law. And fourth property, gravitation forces are conservative force. What are conservative force? The work done by a force when your body is moving. Independent path that is a conservative force. These are four important properties of gravitational force. The first one is a gravitational force the only attractive. Gravitational force the weakest force, fundamental forces in nature. They obey inverse square law. So gravitational force the conservative force. This is the first one, gravitational force. Second one. electromagnetic force electromagnetic electromagnetic force electromagnetic force the force between any two charged particles is called electromagnetic force now there are two charged particles there are one particles there are other particles the force between any two charged particles may be electron is a negatively charged particle proton is a positively charged particle the force between any two charged particles is called electromagnetic force so electromagnetic force the important properties of electromagnetic force the first property electromagnetic force may be attractive or repulsive electromagnetic force is stronger than any gravitational force how many times stronger than Times stronger than the gravitational force. And property three, electromagnetic force which obey inverse square law, and also conservative force. These are four important properties of electromagnetic force. The force between any two charged particles is called electromagnetic force. Electromagnetic force may be attractive or may be repulsive force. And electromagnetic force, the number of such times.
stronger than the gravitational force which obey inverse square law and also conservative force. Friends, third one, strong nuclear force. The first one is the gravitational force, second one electromagnetic force, third one the strong nuclear force. Now this is the atom. This is the atom. The central part of the atom is called nucleus. The central part of the atom is called nucleus. The nucleus consists of two fundamental particles, proton and neutron. Proton is a positively charged particle, neutron is a neutral. A protons and neutrons are collectively called nucleons. A protons and neutrons are collectively called nucleons. The force between protons and neutrons inside the nucleus is called strong nuclear force. Our own more definition, the nucleons in a nucleus strongly bound, the attractive force is called a nuclear force. The force between proton, between proton and neutron inside the nucleus is called a strong nuclear force. What are the important characteristics of a nuclear force? Nuclear forces are strongly attractive force in nature. This is the one more question. What kind of nuclear force in nature? Strongly attractive force in nature. This is the first character or first property. Nuclear forces are strongly attractive force in nature. And nuclear forces are short range force. Second property, nuclear forces are short range force. And three, nuclear forces are Independent charge. Independent charge means proton is a positive charge, neutron is a uncharged and neutral particles. These are three important characteristics or properties of a strong nuclear force. The force between proton and neutron inside the nucleus is called a nuclear force. Nuclear force are strongly attractive force in nature. Nuclear forces are short range force. Nuclear forces are independent charge. This is a strong nuclear force. This is a one more question. Name the fundamental force. The strongest force in fundamental forces. Strong nuclear force. And four, weak nuclear force. Weak. Weak nuclear force. Weak nuclear. Weak nuclear force. The weak nuclear force, the force of interaction between the elementary particles, the force of interaction between the elementary particles for short time, that is a weak nuclear force. The weak nuclear force stronger than the gravitational force, weaker than the electromagnetic force. The weak nuclear force which appear only for nuclear forces, example, beta decay. The weak nuclear forces appear only nuclear forces. This is the four fundamental forces in nature: gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force. So in your examination, find name the fundamental forces in nature. So your answer: so gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force. Weak nuclear force. Name the weakest force, fundamental forces in nature. The first one, gravitational force. Name the strongest force in fundamental forces in nature. Strong nuclear force it is very important in your examination. Find fundamental forces in nature. Now, conserved quantities. What are Conserve quantities, give an example. Any quantity which can measurable is called a physical quantity. So velocity, force, acceleration, energy, momentum, charge are quantities. Now what are conserved quantities? The physical quantities which remains unchanged in a physical process. So energy, example we have energy. Momentum and charge. So define energy. The capacity of the body for doing work is called energy. Law of conservation of energy. The energy can neither be created nor be 
destroy the total energy that is constant or conserved this is the statement of law of conservation of energy so energy can neither be created nor be destroyed the energy transfer from one system to the other system the process means conserved quantities the physical quantities which remains unchanged in a physical process for example you switch on the light what happened electrical energy is converted to light energy switch on the light what happened electrical energy is converted to light energy you switch on the fan electrical energy is converted to mechanical energy so energy can neither be created nor be destroyed so the total energy is constant that conserved this is statement of law of conservation of energy that means the physical qualities which remains unchanged in a physical process is called conserved quantities in our examination point two more question what are conserved quantities give one example so now we answer the physical qualities which remains unchanged in a physical process example energy and one more example momentum law of conservation of the momentum so charge law of conservation of a charge the total charge of an isolated system remains constant so the three important examples for conserved quantities one is the energy momentum and charge the conserved quantities